Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Center and welcome back to a garden video. So today we are going to have a quick little update for y'all. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but it's been a little cold outside. So I'm in Alabama, zone 8B, which is usually very warm, <laughs> very sunny. Even in the winter, we very rarely freeze, or not even freeze, we very rarely frost. Sometimes we freeze, but by sometimes, I mean like once every couple years. Now I'm not talking about all of Alabama. I can't speak for every county or every zone, but I am 30 minutes from the Florida border and we are hot. Like, see the sun? It's almost four o'clock. We're hot here. But over Christmas, we had the same cold front that the rest of the country did. And we went below freezing for three days and we stayed there, which is very, very, very unusual for us. It literally was like 19 degrees, 30 degrees during the day. Nighttime was, you know, like five, six, seven degrees, um, which is just ridiculous for our area. Now, I moved here from Colorado. I'm an army brat. I've lived all over. I was literally born in Alaska. So like the cold doesn't bother me, but it does bother my warm loving plants that were not planted for those zones and so in these these times like when we had the heat wave last summer because why wouldn't we have a heat wave and a freeze in the same year uh sometimes things just don't live through those things now i didn't plant a lot for the winter but some of my warm loving things might not live to next summer things like hardy annuals that typically are annuals but are usually perennials in our zone I'm not sure if like, this is a proven winter super tunia bubblegum petunia. Um, they usually come back in our zone. It looks really fried. Now some of it is sticks and is definitely gone. There is still green at the base, so maybe it'll come back. We won't know about that till next summer. Things like my angelonia that usually comes back but doesn't always in most zones or my pintas um we're gonna have to wait on those other things like um my pretty foxtail ferns we just planted are looking very brown and crispy and some of those things you just lose and there's just nothing you can do about it it sucks but we're gonna go through i'm gonna show you kind of where things are right now and what things have bounced back. It's obviously warm and sunny right now. It's been, well, it's the first. So it's been a couple days since the freeze. I've given it three, four, five days to see if things are gonna bounce back. The only things that I think are really gone, gone, gone are some of the ornamental cabbages and kales I planted. They look like mush. I don't think, I think once you go mush, you don't come back. Just a guess. All right, so I know we usually start on the other side, but I want to leave my milk jugs and the baby seeds for last. So we're gonna start around the tree. Ferns look awful. Now, I just don't know with the freeze, like I may have to come in and cut these all the way back. I'm just gonna leave them for now. And we're going to see what happens. If I have to cut them back and regrow the foliage, that would not be the worst thing. They grow pretty quick, but obviously I'm sad to lose any of the foliage that we had. But I mean, you saw when I touched these, like the leaves are, they're brittle and coming off. So I am, I'm pretty sure that means that at least the over, the over parts are gone. We'll find out. From here... I did plant some lupins out from my milk jugs last week. They are still green. They are still leafy, but they are not nearly as green and leafy as they were last week. So we're just gonna wait and see. Lupins typically are okay with cold, but not usually when they're this little. My peony still looks red and beautiful. And this weed that I've pulled like eight times is still fine. Don't worry. Weeds never die. 
just ferns. From here, most of the other things, you know, the iris, the foxgloves, the um, lamb's ear down here, they all look fine. The Nandina is coloring up with that cold, like, beautifully. I can't wait till these get bigger. Look at that. Look at that red. Look at that. Look at it more. That's fabulous. The butterfly bushes look a little funky fresh, but I don't think they're don't think they're dead. I think they're just dormant. More super tunias, but now we're going to start getting into the ranunculus. So you know, the link the video below, I planted a whole slew of ranunculus and after the frost you can see all the long leaves that were beautiful, they are dying back. And I thought they might have died for the last day or two. Look, they are pushing brand new growth after the frost. I think they're going to be fine. Cross all your fingers, say a prayer. I was most sad to potentially lose those. So they are um, things that will come back in my zone. So even if they don't bloom or flower this year, they will bloom and flower for us in the future. Now we are coming to the first mushy kale. So here is the difference. This kale is fine. This kale is mush. Now this is this, this kind of kale I'm not sure about. Like, see down here, it, it seems not nearly as bad. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I might need to cut some back. I just, I don't know. Like if I cut this back to the ground, will it live? Do you know anything about cabbages and kales? Please let me know. Do I just pull that? Do I cut it back? What do I do with that? What do I do with that? All the pansies are uh, a little limp biscuit, but you can see they are starting to pop their little blue heads up. So, think they're going to be okay. Some of the lambs here over here is struggling a bit. So probably need to come through and just like get all the dead out. But I don't want to do that yet because the dead, while it's not pretty, is helping to insulate the plant. If we have further cold weather, it will help. So we will do that in the spring. For now, I'm going to leave it. Even though it doesn't look great, it is helping the plant more pansies. I will come through and deadhead everything here. These mums, you can see there is still green inside, but again, those need to be cut way back, like to two, three inches from the ground. We'll do that in the spring as well. Even my big pretty lambs here is hurting in the frost. More kales. So these little baby ones seem okay. And then mush, 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 three mushes. Obviously I'm going, well, maybe not obvious. If you've watched any of my videos, I'm planting a whole grove of foxgloves here in the spring. So this whole big area is kind of funky fresh right now. The kale is supposed to give us color until spring when we planted the foxglove, but now it is mush. So I have to decide, do I care? I could pop them out and plant three new ones, or I can just pop them out and leave that till spring, which might be what we do at this point. But the rest of the things, you know, the um, my agapanthus look pretty sad, but they are starting to even push new growth here. Like, look at all this little green. They're not dead, they're just sad. Pansies are starting to push new growth. The um, ranunculus, here's some more examples of dead new growth. So I think they will live. I just think they need some help. Now from here, the only other thing we really need to check on, all the salvia that had fresh green growth at the bottom, gone with the, the frost. That's okay. Salvia reseeds like crazy. It will be back just fine. Don't worry about that. The Angelonia here that had fresh buds and growth on it is all sticks now. I want to hope and pray 
but it's a hardy annual. It may just be done. I may have to replant Angelonia next year. All of my, my salvia and my comb flowers and my gar that was hanging on and looking great, it's all gone. None of this is stuff that I thought would last through the winter, so it's fine that it's gone. It was just great that it was lasting. Now ignore the new raised beds because I have not released that video yet, but someone bought me raised beds for Christmas. Three people did. My mom, my stepmom, and my brother. We're going to go check out the milk jugs. We're going to pray some of our baby seeds survived the winter. Whoop. Biddy, are you checking them out? How do they look, sweetheart? Okay, okay, look. Some of the lupins are still looking good, so that's good. We can replace the lupins if need be. Let's check out box gloves. Any babies still? Oh, oh, those look sad. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to order new fox gloves. That is what I was afraid of. Fox gloves are not nearly as hardy. What about the asters? They look sad too. Yep, poppies, maybe. Oh, that one's great. Dinner, a poppy for dinner. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so. I think the foxgloves will have to replant, but you can still winter sow up until eight weeks before your first, your last frost date. They will not be as big as if you winter sow them all winter. In our zone, you can winter sow them all winter, um, but still better than buying big plants. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and order um, three new packets of foxglove seeds and we will re-sow those as long as I get them in the milk jugs by January 15th. We're still January 1st. We should still have Fox Club babies by the end of the uh, winter season for spring. So that's my frost update. Unfortunately, sometimes with the freeze, things just die and that sucks, but it is what it is with winter, with weather, with gardening is a lesson I am still struggling to learn. You cannot control everything. I'm going to go inside and order some new foxglove seeds, but if the foxgloves and the ornamental kale is the only um, great losses of the Christmas freeze of 2022, I will take it. Those are both easily replaceable. I am hoping that maybe the ferns will be okay. I think I lost all the foliage, but I have literally thought one of the ferns was dead, cut it back to just roots, and it it's, it's giant now. So I think I'm going to have to cut them back, not now in the spring, and I think by this time next year, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. I don't know if they'll be fine. I'm going to assume they'll be fine. Either way, I'm going to go because it is, it's not the most fun weather out here, and uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Raise beds. Check it out.